Hi there, James Madison High School students. This is your instructor, your English instructor, Suzanne Thompson. And today, we're going to be going over briefly the rules of the English language. But today, basically, I'm going to be categorizing those rules. And all of this information you'll be able to find at edufind.com. That's edufind.com. So the first thing we want to look at are nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, place, things, or ideas, right? And sometimes we refer to them with pronouns such as it, right? So it can also be a noun, but it's a pronoun as well. And we're going to look at um, the difference between a pronoun and a noun as well. But nouns are important to know. Um, so nouns, as I said, are people, places, or things, and they tell us what we're talking about. And I'm just going to be looking at my notes so that I give you the correct information. So, for example, words like cat, jack, um, rock, these are all nouns. Okay, Africa, that's the name of a country. Those are nouns. Now, there's something called adjectives, which I know many of you know. And an adjective usually modifies a noun. So it describes a noun. So, um, for example, the words tall, beautiful, uh, irresponsible, and boring, right? Those are all adjectives. It describes a noun. Then there's something called adverbs. And adverbs, adverbs modify, they can modify an adjective. It can modify another adverb. And they often modify a verb. So they're used to describe a verb, they're used to describe an adjective, or they're used to describe another adverb, okay, or modify. So they tell us how something is done, how something, for example, is written. Um, they tell us when something is happening and where things happen. They express quantity, um, the, inten the intensity, as well as frequency and op opinions. So these are different things that they, that adjectives, I'm sorry, adverbs express. Then there's something that we don't often talk about, it's called determiners, okay? They kind of work like adjectives um, in that they modify something, but basically these are like articles, quantifiers, and other determiners, they modify nouns. They resemble adjectives in that way. So determiners help us to say what we are talking about and in a more effective way. And again, I'm going to give you examples of what a determiner is in our next lesson. Then there is something called verbs and verb tense. Verb tense is also very important, but there's verb and verb tense. And what are verbs? Verbs are usually used to show action, right? They're action words. They tell us what is happening and when. So um, it could be in the past, it could have happened in the present, or it's happening in the present, or will happen in the future. So the verb and verb tense are both important, and we're going to talk more about that. And verbs can also explore possibilities and intentions, as well as conditions, right? Possibilities and conditions. So speech, let's talk about speech. When you report when someone is talking, when, when someone, whatever they're saying, we're citing from that person. So we can cite the person directly or indirectly, such as when you're doing a research paper, often you have to cite someone. Indirect speech rules are an important area of grammar, as well as direct speech rules, but all these rules are very important to grammar. And now let, let's look at punctuation. Punctuation is not part of oral grammar. And we know this, when we speak, we don't say, um, I went to the store, comma, or I went to the store, semicolon, or period, no. We don't say the punctuation, but this is something that's important when we're writing, right? So it's a very essential, it's very essential to master this in English, in written English. Then there's something called relative clauses. We use relative clauses in English to create more complex and more precise sentences. And we went over sentence structure in our last Grammar My video briefly. We talked about independent versus dependent clauses. Um, but we're going to look more, up, you know, we're going to go more in depth 
about sentence structure, structure and um, how clauses are very important in orally as well as in written English. So that's it for our Grammar Might video today, just giving you these definitions to, you know, for you to mull over. And again, the next time what I plan on doing is, is go through each of these individually and give you examples. So our next video will probably just focus on nouns and pronouns. Okay. All right. So have a wonderful day, James Madison High School, and I'll see you in our next Grammar Might video.